Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Today I have the Reliable Electric 3000 watt 48 volt pure sine wave power inverter. I have a system in my house that I've got solar and hydro and I want to have an off-grid portion of my whole power system. And so this 3000 watt inverter is going to be used in that. So it's not going to be a comprehensive review. Let's just take a look at this thing and uh, I'm going to go ahead and install it and we'll see how well it runs different uh, appliances. So, all right, let's take a closer look at this power inverter. Let's do a spin around and look at some of the features here. So this is the Reliable Electric Pure Sine Wave Inverter. I bought the 48 volt version, which is good because you can use smaller cables to get the power you need. Uh, so let's just take a little spin around here. This is where you would connect your power, your uh, positive and negative, two fans. So these will spin and pull air out away from the inside of the unit. Um, so there's your terminals there. It's got some locking washers. And let's go ahead and spin to this side. All it has is an air vent with the two different places where you can screw this to a wall. Let's go to the other side, exact same thing. Mounting position and then your fan right there on that side. And now if we spin around over here, this is where you have your, um, your red is your positive. The yellow is actually your ground and then the black over here is the negative. And then you can wire straight into that down here, which is probably what I'm going to be doing. Then you can connect just a regular power cord here um, with the ground. Uh, up here is going to be your battery voltage coming in. So uh, that'll change based on what the battery reads. And then down here will be where your um, output is. So this should be running around 120. Um, so probably a range of 122 to like... 95, I don't know. Uh, hopefully we won't see much lower than that. But And then you got just your on off power switch there. Let's just turn it over to see if there's anything on the bottom we should look at. Uh, just a little bit of information here. Input DC, 48 volt. Output, 120 volt. Frequency, 60 hertz. And then it's got uh, some contact information for the company. The things that come with this unit, it has got a, what is this, a five gauge? I don't see the gauge on there because it's in a uh, different language, uh, but I think that's a five. And then it has a little instruction booklet and also some fuses. Um, then there's also a face plate in here that you can install over your wiring. So if you do decide to wire this up using this right here, then you can take this little face plate and cover your wiring. So we will probably do that whenever we get things installed. Let's just unscrew the cover real quick so we can look at the inside and probably get to see the uh, fuse location real quick. So let's do that. I don't plan on ever having to access the fuses, but you never know how things are gonna go. I removed all eight of the screws for this cover, and I'm hoping it just slides right up. There we go. So let me bring you in closer so you can see how things look, and then we'll just put that cover back on and we will move on. So this does come with eight replacement fuses, and those fuses are located right down in here between these capacitors and these transformers. So there's also two very nice sized uh, heat sink, which should help dissipate a lot of the heat. All right, um, I know some about this stuff, but not a lot. So let's cover this back up and then let's go install this. I've got the user manual. I just want to read a couple little bits of information here. It is a pure sine wave inverter. So the rated continuous power is 3,000 watts. The surge output power is two times higher. So in this case, 6,000 watts. Standby power for the 3,000 watt unit is less than 30 watts. So I do have to watch to make sure this thing doesn't drain the batteries overnight, just consuming that 30 watts. The DC input voltage for this one is 48 volts. Uh, the range, DC range is 
40 to 60 volts DC. High battery shutdown for this one is 75 volts. Uh, no, 60 volts, excuse me. The uh, let's see, AC output voltage 120. The AC output frequency is 60 plus or minus 2 hertz. And the AC is uh, pure sine wave. There's some different things down here, like the uh, operating temperature is 32 degrees to 104 degrees. It's got the cooling fans. And these are the different protections that it says this unit has. Input low voltage protection, input high voltage protection, overload protection, temperature protection, short circuit protection, battery reverse protection. And there's different uh, alarms in there as well, but you can uh, look that up. So, uh, the actual install of this unit, I'm going to do on my main land to house channel. And so you can watch that over there. But uh, let's go ahead and just jump to the fully installed inverter and we will see how well it performs under a load. And maybe I can find a way to see how much power it's using in standby. I finished the install of this inverter. You can watch that video on my main land to house channel. I have a link to that in the description down below. It took me about six hours to get this installed because I did some special things that I was not really familiar with. And that is using a relay to turn off the AC side. And I had some trouble with the settings of the Midnight Classic when I did that. And then also I have never connected a high watt inverter to a 48 volt bank battery and uh, it made quite a spark <laughs> just to uh, to be very honest with you so I touched that terminal and it just pow so I looked up some videos and some how to's and it said the capacitors in here have to be charged and you're supposed to use a resistor to touch that terminal and slowly charge those but instead I just touched it right off but anyway it's connected and it is working. So let's dive into it real quick and I'll show you. Uh, this is a 600-ish watt drill and we can plug that up and show you that it is working. I mounted this upside down but it seems to be working just fine. Here's a quick run through of what's going on. Power is entering in from the terminals over here and on this side you can use either the two receptacles or the hard wire. And that's what I'm using here is the hard wire. And the ground, as you can see there in the middle, has two wires. One is going up to the receptacle and the other one is going outside to the earth ground. I can show you a clip of that real quick. So the red is going over here to this relay, which is turned on by the Midnight Classic. It reads the battery and indicates whether or not the battery is uh, basically charged or if it has been depleted down to 48 volts and uh, if it goes below 48 turns off this relay and the inverter itself using somewhere less than 30 watts won't bring down the batteries too much until either the hydro or the solar can bring the batteries back up so then the wiring just goes up to a receptacle in the house that i'm able to uh, run things up there so let's go ahead and plug up this drill. I'm just going to use uh, one of these receptacles here. Can't tell you how many times I've tried to plug in something in the wrong direction. So let's go over here so we can see the readout. Currently the batteries are at 56.3 volts. And uh, it may change here because the... Uh, AC unit just turned on in the house So yeah 56.2 all right, let's go ahead and crank this up and we'll get uh, Just a shot where you can see this working Runs that very smoothly no change up here We've got at least uh, 1500 watts coming in from solar right now, so no change on that. This has just been a very brief overview of this inverter. I haven't used it enough to really have a solid opinion on good or bad. I just know that right now it is working just fine. It runs LED lights and uh, this drill. I haven't tried to charge a laptop or something that's sensitive like that, but I don't see it being a problem. 
the customer satisfaction on this unit is pretty high and uh, the price point I paid somewhere around $400 for this but I have seen quite a large range of prices so I think it goes on sale some um, you might be able to get this for 350 or so for the 48 volts and 3000 watt now it does recommend that you run this at 80% of its max. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Reliable Electric 3000 watt 48 volt pure sine wave inverter. I will probably give you an update on this channel as I use it. Uh, hopefully I won't have to use it too much because I got this for power out situations. But here in the mountains of North Carolina, we do get several of those. For instance, last week was about a six hour span without power. So. It'll just be nice to have the option to turn on the refrigerator or to watch TV with internet, whatever uh, we decide to use this off-grid power for. I don't think that this will run my well pump because it is 500 foot deep and that thing is a beast, um, but it is enough to run the fridge and microwave if we need to uh, do some off-grid cooking or keeping things cold. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. can't walk away in this one.